Hey guys, so I know that the angle is a little weird today and I apologize for that, but I want to share with you guys how we're organizing our cords. Now this is not the cutest method as far as where we're keeping it, but this is where they're at at the moment and kind of keeping it real, like I said. So what we do and what I would really suggest doing is keeping them stored like this. Now I used to keep them in like a hanging pocket type of a, it was a jewelry closet organized organizer and I liked it but it didn't work as well as this seems to work for us at least so I want to share with you guys now my boyfriend actually I threw away a twist tie when we first started dating and he's like what are you doing why would you throw away a twist tie I'm like because it's trash and he's like no you save those you'd be surprised how many uses that you can use them for and he is right so and he's very he's frugal like me and now like why well, have I been throwing away twist ties and even my friend Megan was like I feel guilty if I throw one away Truly, they're amazing. So what we do is organize all of our cords like this. So we twist tie the cords. It keeps them nice and tidy. It keeps them from getting tangled. So you go in here, you're like, oh, need an old Apple charger, which the iPad that I have is, is old like this. Like, I need to grab one because the other one died or whatever reason, here it is. I need a micro USB cable, here it is. Everything's in here, I need a really long lightning cable, there it is headphones there they are and everything stays together there's never any knotted cords or anything like that so if you have some crazy cord situations where like a drawer of just balled up cords sit down in front of a TV untangle them all and then tie them all together so you can also get these say you don't have a bunch that you've been saving you can get them from the grocery store produce department as well you know just buy some apples or something and use a couple twist ties on your bag and you'll get some twist ties. Um, <laughs> keep it, keep it legit. So for example, here's a cord. This one has, was well, tied up. I actually had to untie it for this. So, but anyways, you just tie it up and then you tie it. You could also use zip ties if you have a bunch of them and you know, don't mind undoing them, but there you go. So see, now I've got a perfectly stored cord that's not gonna tangle up with anything else. I can just chuck it in the drawer and I'm good to go. Now, of course, you could make this a whole lot fancier. Say you had a drawer like this, you could do some sort of a divider type thing where you have headphones and you have micro USB, you have phone chargers, you have random other miscellaneous chargers. And that's where kind of part two comes along with this is, organizing in a way where you know which charger is which because sometimes when you get new electronics they come with bizarre chargers and you know say you go to look for that charger and you can't find it because all of a sudden you need it and you don't know where it's at and you don't know which one it is and the chaos is real um label label your chargers so for example this is one that he did this is a oh this is a casio camera so he just put a little piece of tape on the cord here and wrote Casio camera on it. I think there's some other ones in here that are labeled too. See, so here's another one for example. This one says golf. Now I have no idea what that means. That's definitely his. I'm not the one who wrote that, but I think he's got a golf watch. So I'm gonna bet that this goes with his golf watch <laughs> and you know, that type of thing. So he knows like, okay, um, you know, I go in here and I am able to look for the cords that you need. Again, it would be nice to have it organized, you know, like cameras and miscellaneous tooth toothbrushes because we have like some chargers for the kids toothbrushes and that type of thing. Occasionally you get really weird cords like this. This one actually goes with this car, but it is already labeled and there's really no point in tying that one up. So anyways, I hope that this helps you guys organize your cords just a little bit better. If anything, kind of get a handle on your cords, get rid of, so say, you know, for some reason we didn't have this camera anymore, get rid of this cord. You don't need this cord anymore if it doesn't go with the camera. And fortunately enough, it is labeled. So you know, you know what it goes with. I would love to hear how you're organizing your cables. If you are gonna go sit down and tackle some cables or if you have a great way of organizing cables, please leave it below. Please like this video and let's help each other out. Get a little bit more organized, save a little bit more time when it comes to cords. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.